Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another full face of Dollar Tree makeup and I am super excited because there's actually so much newness at the Dollar Tree. I got a new foundation, a new concealer, new bronzer, new blushes. Look at this blush. Yes. So make sure you guys grab a snack, get cozy, or grab your makeup and your brushes so we can get ready together and have some girl time. Ready. So I'm going to start off with a lip oil, actually. So I picked up a lip oil and a lip mask, but I want to try out the lip oil before we start the makeup. So this one is from the brand Be Pure. And of course, everything was $1.25. I miss the days when everything is still a dollar. It pretty much looks like a clear lip gloss. Oh, wow. This smells like mint. Mmm. Very minty, very smooth. It actually feels nice on the lips. It doesn't feel super sticky. So of course I'm gonna start with the eye makeup and I'm actually gonna prime with a new concealer also from the same brand, Be Pure. And this one is the Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer. The only thing I don't like about the Dollar Tree when it comes to complexion products is the shades are always super limited. And I was actually even surprised that they had this color. It was this color and then I think like only two other shades. It's usually like light, medium, dark. But I'm happy to see a different brand at the Dollar Tree for complexion products. Products. So this actually looks really good. Let's prime the lids with it. Ooh, very creamy. I'm just gonna use a brush. I also did get some beauty sponges, which we're gonna try out. They're from the brand Beauty Collection. And let me just say, it comes in a two pack, which is such a great deal, but this is so bouncy and soft. I actually just got this damp under the sink and I wrung the water out and this is incredibly soft. It feels like a beauty blender, like not even kidding. I like the formula of this, this is really, creamy and blendable i can't wait to see how this is going to look on the under eyes and how it covers up but it does have a nice hydrating creamy formula now i'm going to go in and actually set that down and i got two different eyeshadow palettes these apparently are a new and improved formula they're just little three pan palettes from la colors so this one is water lily and this is humble weed i'm actually going to start with this palette first and i'm going to take that matte shade and i'm just going to apply that all over my lid to set that concealer i'm going to take this transition color and i'm going to apply that in my crease look at the pigment on that though wow you do have to build these up but honestly it's not a big deal it's definitely doable Okay, I'm gonna take this brown color in the other palette. I'm just gonna apply that on the outer lid. You guys already know we're gonna smoke this out. I will say this is not bad. And I can actually tell that the formula of these is a little bit better than their previous palettes. The other ones that they did have worked, but these are a little bit more pigmented. Even when you build them up too, they actually show up nicely and I mean, it works. I do have other favorites when it comes to drugstore eyeshadows. I feel like there's a lot of good options that are affordable. Like I love the e.l.f. bite size palettes, but if you're ever at the Dollar Tree and you need something quick and you don't feel like spending a ton of money, I mean, I think that this little palette at least definitely is doable. I haven't tried the other shimmer in this one, but I'm gonna use these instead. The mattes that I used in the other palette are nice. I mean, for $1.25 it works. I'm gonna take the lighter shimmer in the palette. I'm gonna dip in here and I actually do have a setting spray that I'm gonna use. It's this little LA Colors setting spray. It's a mini guy, so let's try this. Okay, the shimmer definitely doesn't show up how it looks in the pan. I feel like there's a slight layer of glitter in the pan or like a, a shimmer, but then when you actually dip your brush, it pretty much goes away and there isn't really much to it, but Again, it's doable and it actually does show up. I think spraying your brush always helps. I take a little bit of the gold color with my finger. I'm just gonna apply that on the center. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Adds a nice little gradient between the two shades. Now, are these the best affordable eyeshadows I've ever used? No, but it's definitely doable. I do prefer the bite-sized eyeshadows from e.l.f. And even Hard Candy has little quads that are nice and are under five as well. So I think there are better options at the drugstore. So now let's do a little eyeliner. I don't know if I want to do a wing. Do I? Or do I want to just keep this smoky and maybe do a little smudged out eyeliner? I think I might do that actually. So I'm going to take the auto eyeliner from LA Colors. And this one is in the color black. I've tried another eyeliner from LA Colors that I thought was okay, but hopefully this one will be even better. I'm gonna just apply this on the outer edge a little bit on my outer lid. I'm basically just smudging it on my lash line up top. Okay, actually does show up. You have to kind of build it up a little bit. It's not super, super pigmented, 
but it shows up. I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna do a little like smoky wing. I'm just gonna take that same eyeliner and basically just drag that right along the e.l.f. eye tape. You can do this with any eyeliner as well. I feel like as long as you have tape or something, it just helps so much. And the eyeliner is actually impressive. I can see that these formulas are definitely improved from before. This is super long. We are kicking it back old school today with this 2016 wing, which I'm not totally mad about, but it's not really what I want. So we're gonna have to wipe that down a little bit, but I'm looking for my brush. I'm just taking more of that brown eyeshadow and just dragging it outwards a little bit as well. We remove the tape and bam next i have a new mascara from la colors this one is the lengthening one and i actually got the dark brown version i figured i could use this for my lashes and to set my brows and again this one also says it's a new and improved formula and to be honest i don't really have ever a lot of luck with dollar tree mascaras they usually just don't show up on my lashes and they don't do anything but you know i'm gonna give this one a fair shot so this is what the wand looks like pretty standard i am gonna oh wow this smells like a hair product that's interesting but I am gonna curl my lashes. I get so distracted by like the sense of products because I smell everything. Is there anybody out there who doesn't smell their stuff? Because I don't know how you do it. Because I have to smell everything. It's a bad habit. All right, let's try. Okay, so it actually shows up, but it's a really light formula. I mean, it's not gonna do much. It does separate them. It definitely shows up more than other mascaras that I've tried from the Dollar Tree, but still probably not my number one thing from there that I love. I feel like just save your $1.25 and use it towards another drugstore mascara. I mean, there's so many good ones, honestly. Now for the face, I'm actually gonna be using a moisturizer as my primer, and this one is the OBI Skin Care. It's a hyaluronic acid moisturizing cream. This looks super creamy and very hydrating so let's try it out this is gonna be oh wait i forgot to put on lashes it's fine though i'm gonna let this sit for a little bit before i go in with foundation but do you see the consistency it's kind of like a gel moisturizer Ooh, it feels super moisturizing but very lightweight and thin it doesn't have any fragrance to it which is nice as well when in doubt, just use your favorite moisturizer or SPF as your base. And for lashes, my favorites are from Ioni. So I have these Natural Light Wispies, and then I also have the Natural Light Doll Lashes. This is what they both look like, and Ioni has hundreds of different styles. I've seen so many different ones. Some are very natural, some are really dramatic. They also have individual lashes. It's amazing. And I also have the Ioni Everlasting Lash Glue. I picked up another one. I wanted to try this again because it's been a minute since I last played with this. Let's see which lashes I want to use though. I'm kind of thinking natural light wispy because I love a wispy lash. So let me put these on. Okay, this is what the lashes look like. Pretty. Oh, they're nice. They're going to add just a little bit of a light fluff. I think I've tried these before i'm pretty sure i did the only thing with this glue it does smell really bad it's not the worst thing i've ever smelled but it has a strong smell to it and i always like to mention scents and i know not everybody smells their stuff but for those of you who are sensitive to scents or if you're like me and you smell everything i always like to mention i remember this working though but for me personally i do prefer my kiss strip lash adhesive it is so good very affordable i typically always get it at walmart it is the cheapest there and i'm just gonna pop that right on these lashes are pretty they're very natural so i'm gonna add a coat of mascara just to amp them up a little bit and add a little something to them but they're pretty and now i'm just touching up the eyeshadow i'm adding more of that shimmer on my lids kind of just carving that out a little bit so far so good with everything my least favorite thing is probably the mascara i just don't really love it to be honest but everything is working really well though for the most part so now i'm going to go in with foundation and i'm taking the essentially ageless hydrating serum foundation it's the same brand as the concealer and this one is also in light medium i'm gonna do about this much okay wow this feels so nice look at that so i'm actually gonna do one side with the sponge because i want to try out that sponge and then the other side with the brush I prefer a brush with my products now but this sponge does feel really soft and bouncy that's actually so pretty it definitely is hydrating and it gave some coverage this is one of the better complexion products that i've tried from the dollar tree honestly it, it just sucks that it doesn't come in a lot of shades but 
How beautiful is that? That's so pretty. And on the other side, I'm using a brush and this is my Anissa Beauty Pinnacle Foundation, which is my holy grail brush. This honestly makes any foundation work, no matter how affordable, how pricey it is. This is my go-to brush. And I definitely feel like I like this more with a brush because it enhances the coverage and it gives such a smooth look. I think both sides actually look really good. The sponge is nice, I will say though. This is very, very soft. And the fact that you get two for $1.25 is a steal. Now let's jump into the concealer because I did like the way it applied on my lids. I thought that was nice and creamy. Now I'm gonna apply it on my under eyes. Ooh, it's a little bit light, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna use sponge. Okay, hydrating and creamy, just like the foundation. I think the foundation gives a little bit more coverage, but the concealer is definitely natural and it has those hydrating properties in it, which I really like. And on the other side, I'm gonna use a brush just to compare and see the difference. This one is also from Anissa Beauty. It's the All Over Fan Brush. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, but I love it for the under eyes as well. Yeah, it definitely gives so you can see more coverage with the brush versus with the sponge, but it's very pretty regardless. I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side. I do think the sponge absorbs some of the product, but if you're looking for something a little bit more natural, I think that's when the sponge is ideal. I love the formula of the complexion products. That's very impressive. Like what? So again, this is the foundation super dewy gives some decent coverage and another product from the same brand that i was just using the foundation and concealer is their powder this is the blurring pressed powder and i got this one also in light medium i'm gonna use this to set my under eyes and my face Ooh, okay this could be a good like little touch-up powder throughout the day i'm just gonna blend out my creases a little bit with my sponge definitely is not brightening it's more of like a neutral kind of skin tone color on me so I'm gonna add another powder that I have over top to lighten the under eyes just a little bit, but that actually looks really nice. And then this is a side that I didn't set. You can kind of see the color difference a little bit. It is slightly darker than the concealer. Definitely alters the color a little bit, but it's still very smooth, I will say. And I did get another powder and this is from the brand Be Pure. So this is the brand that I used from when I used a lip oil, which by the way, I did really like. You know what, I got a lip mask that I feel like maybe we could try right now together. It's from LA Colors, it's the Glam Lip Mask. Let me try this really quick now. Mmm, it smells good. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit sticky when you first dip your finger in, but it's actually nice and smooth on the lips. Now what I'm gonna do is quickly, let me actually set my brows. And I'm gonna use some of that other powder to brighten my under eyes just a little bit. Now we're gonna move into bronzer and blush. And I got the Instantly Radiant Bronzer from LA Colors. And this one is in Bronzed Beauty. And it's actually a matte bronzer, which is nice because most bronzers at the Dollar Tree have a lot of shimmer or some glitter to them. So I ended up getting the matte bronzer as well as the shimmer. We're gonna try both because I am familiar with the shimmer bronzer. I've tried this before. But again, it's apparently a new and improved formula. So we gotta see and compare. So I'm gonna start with the matte one first first impression it is pigmented it is pretty warm i think this would look better if i had some sort of tan so maybe in the summertime this would be a better color on me but it gives a pretty bronzy touch though to the skin that's really nice oh okay i'm gonna try the other color on the other side which is the shimmer bronzer and this one is in sun goddess this is what they both look like the finishes are a little bit different but honestly even the matte bronzer has a slight kind of satiny finish which i like i think it's pretty i also just realized i never used that other powder i need to test that out i just got too excited with the bronzer and blush i actually like that a lot i'm gonna use the same brush on the other side just to like help me blend this a little bit more but it looks really pretty both bronzers do now for blushes i have two different ones right here we have the be pure essentially ageless blush and this one is in delilah which is so cute and then the la colors sweet cheeks blush i'm going to start with the la colors blush first 
I should have did blush first and then put bronzer on the outer edges a little bit because sometimes I feel like when I go in with blush and then bronzer over top, it can look a little bit muddy. But this is a pretty color though. It's super bright. Wow. I'm going to actually just go over top of this with a powder brush. The pink blush is beautiful though. I actually really love that. That's probably my favorite product that I used today. That's really pretty. Now let's do the other blush on the other side. I don't feel like this is actually super smooth. Same with the one from LA Colors. You have to kind of like blend it, like apply it and then go in and blend it afterwards to make it look a little bit more seamless on the skin because it is, it can be a little patchy when you first apply it, but once you blend it, it definitely looks better. I'm just adding a little bit more of this blush to both sides because I like this color more. I'm gonna also touch up the black eyeliner. And then I'm gonna take that same black liner and I'm gonna run that on my waterline and just apply a little lower lash mascara. Okay, I mean, it shows up. It's not the most pigmented or blackest eyeliner, but again, it works. And I feel like that is the case with most of these products. They are doable. Now I'm finally gonna try out the powder that I forgot about. Again, it's the Be Pure Infused Pressed Face Powder. Okay, cool. So this is just like a white transparent powder. I'm gonna apply this in this area right here where I have larger pores and where I wanna brighten a little bit more. I'm just using this little rounded brush. It's from Perfusion. And I'm gonna just press that on this area. Hopefully it'll help to kind of soften up the blush a little bit. Okay, I think that helped. It actually looks good. I think that brightened a little bit. I wonder if you can tell. So again, this is the side with the powder and then this is the side without it. So it's kind of like I'm using it as a finishing powder to smooth everything out and give me a little bit of brightness, which I definitely think that it does. Now for lips, I'm actually gonna use the LA Colors Nude Glam Auto Lip Liner. So I already had this in my collection from last year and this one is in the color Inspiration. And then I'm gonna take the LA Colors Matte Lips in the shade Keeper. I don't remember if I tried this color before. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a fall color. Mm, it actually smells really good too. It smells like a candle. I wanna lighten this up just a little bit. So I'm actually gonna use some concealer. I'm gonna take a brush and just dab this right in the center and just touching out the lip liner. So yeah, if you need to ever lighten your lip combo, just add a little concealer and blend it out with the brush. I love the lip color, so cute. The lipstick is a pretty color. It's definitely a little bit darker than what I wanted. That's why I added the concealer, but it is a nice shade. I'm gonna add a little bit of a gloss because I did pick up this one from LA Colors. It's the Moisturizing Lip Gloss in Paradise Pink. Oh, okay, so it is as bright as it looks. I'm gonna add that right to the center. It smells just like bubble gum. Wait, I love this. It's actually super wearable. And last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup with my little LA Color setting spray. I have tried this before. My thing is it works. And I think it's definitely something you could just throw in your purse. I do think there are better affordable setting sprays, e.l.f., Milani, where you can you know, save your money on this and just use that towards something better. That's actually going to last you longer because this really isn't that much setting spray. All right, you guys, so that is officially everything for this full face of Dollar Tree makeup. Overall, I really like this look. The only thing that I really didn't like out of everything that I think is not worth trying at all is the mascara. I really honestly just don't love Dollar Tree mascaras. The formula is a little bit better than other ones that I've tried, but it's still not my favorite. I thought the eyeshadows were nice. The shimmers aren't the best in the palettes, but the mattes were blendable, and I mean, you're able to definitely make it work with these. I personally prefer the e.l.f. Bite Size eyeshadows or even the hard candy eyeshadows. I think those are great. But if you do need some eyeshadows and you don't want to spend a ton of money, I do think you can make these work. You have to build them up and take your time blending, but they're doable. So this auto eyeliner was decent. I definitely prefer it for wings versus actually on my waterline. It's not super black, but it works. The moisturizer was nice. Now, is this going to replace my current favorite moisturizer? No, but it was hydrating and I really like the consistency of this. I was happy with this. And I also did enjoy the lip oil and the lip mask from LA Colors, but I prefer the lip oil more. I thought this was nice and hydrating. Foundation and concealer is also pretty impressive. I'm going to keep you guys updated on how this makeup wears, but these applied really nicely. I do like the foundation more than the concealer. It is pretty creasy on my under eyes, so I don't think this is the best, but I thought the foundation was beautiful. If only this came in more shades, right? But it actually is really hydrating, gave some decent coverage, and it looks pretty on the skin. I really liked the smoothing powder. The only thing is it just altered the coloring 
coating of my face. I enjoyed the infused press powder as well. I thought this gave like a nice little touch of brightness to my face. The bronzers and blushes were nice. I think I have to use a little bit less product. I definitely underestimated how pigmented these from LA Colors actually are because it did look a little bit muddy, but I was able to make it work after blending, but I thought these were nice as well. I do really love the blushes and I want to actually use this bright pink blush with my favorite base products because I think it would be a really pretty addition. This one from Be Pure was also nice too, but I love this hot pink. The beauty sponges were really nice as well. So I feel like there's definitely some good products if you're at the Dollar Tree, you're on a budget, or you just want to try out some stuff. If you're a beginner, you don't want to spend a lot of money on makeup. The products are definitely doable. So for the most part, I really enjoyed these products and I love the way everything turned out. I think there are a couple better alternatives that you can find at the drugstore. For instance, eyeliner, mascaras, even eyeshadows, you're probably better off just getting those at the drugstore. But if you're at the Dollar Tree and you need a couple little odds and ends, I think some of these are worth trying and some good hidden gems. And I always say you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a beautiful makeup look. It's all about just making it work and the tools that you're using. Let me know if you guys have found any good products from the Dollar Tree down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!